during a plant collecting expedition on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. On following his guide, Arnold, a British botanist, saw something he termed truly astonishing. It was an amazing flower. Almost 200 years later, the variety of flower he saw during his 1818 expedition, the spectacular Rafflesia, is still recognized as the biggest flower in the world. There are dozens of species of Rafflesia, all of which grow only in the jungles of Southeast Asia. New species, however, continue to be identified. The variety that produces the biggest bloom is Rafflesia alnoldii. Named after Joseph Arnold and his expedition partner, Sir Thomas Stamford Raffles, who was founder and governor of Singapore. As beautiful as this flower is, however, it is hardly one you would pick for a bouquet. First, consider its size. The Rafflesia can grow to about three feet, or one meter, in diameter, the size of a bus tire, and weighs some 24 pounds, or 11 kilograms. The flower has five thick, pinkish-brown, fleshy petals covered with pale, wart-like spots. The petals converge in a large hollow that resembles a pot and that can hold up to 13 pints, or 6 litres of water. Second, give thought to its odour. According to one candid description, the Rafflesia smells like a buffalo carcass in an advanced state of decomposition, earning it the well-deserved alternative names Corpse Flower and Stinking Corpse Lily. Carrion-feeding flies are the flower's main pollinators, because they find the stench irresistible. The Rafflesia flower has no stem, leaves or roots, and grows as a parasite of certain vines on the jungle floor. When a new Rafflesia bud breaks through the bark of a host vine, the bud takes about 10 months to balloon, often growing to the size of a large cabbage. Then, in a process that takes several hours, the fleshy lobes unfold, revealing their full glory. Inside the central opening are a number of spiky protrusions called processes. Their function is still little understood, although some researchers think that the protrusions may serve to distribute heat and thus intensify the stench. The flower's odd beauty is short-lived though. After just a few days, the bloom dies and begins to rot leaving behind a slimy black mass. The Rafflesia alnaldi is rare and endangered. Why? Male and female flowers must bloom close to each other to cross-pollinate, yet most buds never reach maturity or bloom. The reason for this is that many buds are harvested to be used in traditional medicine or to be eaten as a delicacy. This has greatly reduced the number of plants grown in the wild. Ongoing destruction of the flower's tropical rainforest habitat poses another serious threat. Seeing a Rafflesia is a unique experience. Its size is impressive. Its 
smell is memorable to say the least, and its form and colour are striking. The world's biggest flower. A flower, very large, beautiful, wonderful, 